Today I'm going to show you how to get started using Secure Configuration Manager. The easiest way to do that is to use the policy templates that are already built into the product. And to do that, you would go here to Security Knowledge, and then to Policy Templates. We have a group of templates for regulations, such as FISMA or HIPAA or NIST. We also have a group of templates for best practices, such as those from CIS. So to get started, you can just choose one of these templates. And today we're going to choose the CIS uh, for Windows Servers 2012. And we're going to right click on it and choose Run Policy Template. Then you can choose the endpoints that you want to run against. This is a Windows template, so we're going to choose Windows Servers. And then click Next. And you can skip this window for now. And here are the report options. And this is just choosing what will uh, show up in the report. So we're going to accept those defaults today. Next, you can schedule this template by clicking the Enable Schedule uh, box and then set the time that you want it to run. But we're going to just run it immediately today. So click Next. You can also set this up to do Delta reporting, which we'll cover in another video. So click Next. You can enable this to distribute either by email or to a file on a share. We're not going to do that at this time, so we'll just click Next, and then you can click Finish. So while it is running, it goes here in the Job queue. It'll be in the Pending queue until it completes. Okay, it just moved to the completed queue. So here it is, and we can open it up and see the results. This is the data view, and you can drill down and select the checks and see the details for those checks. You can also use the default templates as a basis to create your own. And you can do that by selecting one, right click on it, choose Edit, and then you'll see the list of checks that are included in this template. And you may want to remove some of these. And you do that by selecting the check that you want to remove, and then select the left pointing arrow. You can also add checks at this point. By selecting the check you want to add and clicking the right pointing arrow. And you can click Next. And if any of these appear in red, that means that there's some input required before you can go on. And none of these require any additional input at this time. So we can click Next. And then to make it your own, you would need to click on Save As so that you can give it a new name. and then click OK. And when you do that, then it will appear in the My Templates um, section. 
since it was created by you and is not one of our default templates.